Welcome back. In this first tutorial video, we're going to show you how to import data into Rapid Miner Studio. If you look to the right, to the Chris DM image, we are currently where that giant yellow arrow is between data understanding and data preparation. So, before we load up Rapid Miner, let's just take a look at the actual data itself. Let's open up the spreadsheet, and we can see here that we have about five columns. We have gender, age, the payment method, whether or not they have churned or are loyal, and when the last time they interacted with our website in days. So we're going to take this spreadsheet and we're going to load it into Rapid Miner Studio. But first, we have to load Rapid Miner Studio. I'm going to make the assumption that you've already downloaded Rapid Miner Studio and have installed it. So let's just go ahead and open the shortcut here. Now, what's going to happen is as Rapid Miner loads in, it's going to present you with a mini load up screen, which we should see here right now. And it's currently loading in all the extensions and other functions that you have for Rapid Miner Studio. If you've downloaded anything specifically from our marketplace, a little icon will show up here in the upper right. So in a short second, this will load in. Now, this is the Rapid Miner Studio splash page. Let's talk a little bit about that. On the left here, we have four big buttons. Some inbuilt tutorials are available to you. The Rapid Miner Accelerator is also available, which we will talk about in other videos. You can create a new process, or you can open up a process you've been working on. Over here on the right is some company news. This is where you can find out about upcoming releases, uh, events such as Rapid Miner Wisdom, or other specific related blog posts. Up here to the upper left, we see a toolbar with some pull-down menus as well. And finally, in the upper right, we have a perspective view, which has home, design, results, and accelerator. We'll touch more on these a little bit later. So let's load in that spreadsheet. First, we have to go and start a new process. Before we pull in that information from the spreadsheet, let's talk about what we see here. Once again, in the upper left, we see the toolbar and pull-down menu. And we also have the perspective view over here in the upper right. Now, in this particular window right here, this tab called Operators, these are all your drag and drop operators where you pull them into the design canvas over here. And you can import, export data, transform your data, model your data, and evaluate the data. Of course, if you have any extensions installed from our marketplace, they will show up here as well. Down here in the middle is our wisdom of the crowds. You can see here that it's activated and it's currently working. It is suggesting that in 12% of the time, people began their process with a retrieve operator. Down here in the lower left is our repository window. This is where you make your database connections, you store your local data and your local processes, or if you have a cloud repository connection, will show up up in here. Let's just go across to the right here now. Over here on the right in this particular window is our parameter window. This is where the no coding starts. This is where you would enter different parameters into the fields so you don't have to code them. Just a note here, it says four hidden expert parameters. Rapid Miner will have a default, will have hidden expert parameters set to on. If you want to see them all, click on the little graduation person here, like so, and you see more parameters show themselves. Let's just, for this tutorial, turn that off. One more window to the bottom right here is our help window. And you can see here, based on whatever operator you choose, you can do a quick scan and read about what that operator does. Now, finally, the main design canvas. Right here in this window is where you drag and drop operators into. What does an operator look like? Well, let's see if we have an Excel operator where we can read in data. Let's type in the word read Excel, and we're presented with two choices. The one we want is read Excel. We would drag this over like so. And if we wanted to, we can come over here, select the data file that we want, which is the churn data, and go through an import configuration wizard. We also have another way to import the data a lot simpler is coming down here and just activating the Import Excel Sheet Wizard. 
And finally, perhaps the most favored way of me of, of mine of importing this data is actually just dragging and dropping it onto the palette. This only works for standard files such as CSV or Excel or XML. There you have it. Now the data file, the read Excel operator is in here with our churn data already loaded in. But we're not done yet. We do have to go through the wizard to make sure that our data is being loaded in the correct format. So let's investigate that. Let's click on import configuration wizard. Wait for this to pop up. We've select the data file, which is already done. I click next, step two. Step two loads in the data, much like a spreadsheet. You could see here that it's all selected. And just to highlight right over here, if you have multiple tabs in your spreadsheet, you can click on those tabs if they're available and select data from that as you need. You can also select what you want, maybe a few columns, maybe a few rows, it's up to you. But if you want it all, just click one cell and do control A to select them all. Let's go to step three. Step three is pretty easy. It just helps you identify what is your header file and what is actual data to load in. You can change that. Let's pull this down here. If I want to select a row to make it my header column, I will select it as name. If there are comments in your rows, you can comment them out. Rapid Miner will not load them in then. If it's just a dash, it means it's a piece of data that you need to load. So for now, let's leave the default here, name. Let's go to the next one. This is perhaps the most important step in the import wizard. Here, you can actually toggle on and off columns you want to include in the import or not. If you toggle it off, it will not be imported. Let's leave the default on here. You can come here and you can change the actual name of the header column. You can say payment, get rid of the word payment method, and just say payment. Or you can just add new names to it. The second row is the data type. RapidMiner does a pretty good job of guessing what your data type is. For, ex for example, age is typically an integer, but it could also be a real number if it's something else. Up in this case, churn is loyal or churn, and it's a polynomial. You can, of course, override it by pulling it down and selecting something else. Finally, this last row is indicative of what kind of role does the data have. Right now, the default is sets each column as an attribute, but we need to change one of them. We need to assign something called a special role to the churn column. We need to tell RapidMiner that this column is what we want to build a model to and understand. So pull down attribute and select label. That is what we want to know. Okay. Once we're done, we click finish. Okay, where's the data now? We've just went through the import wizard. How come I don't see it? Let's click this button here, which is a run button to execute the process locally. Oh, I ran it but now I'm getting an error message. It's telling me that a final connection is missing. Ah, I need to actually create a wire to my result port. Got it? Let's click on this little nub here called out for output, drag a wire to another nub called RES. That stands for result. Now, let's run it again. Congratulations, you've just loaded in the data. Now, in the next step, we will continue by actually visualizing the data. Thank you very much for watching.